When you look at the days of Israel, Samuel established the schools of the prophets for the purpose of training young men to keep the knowledge of the living God alive. I believe we're living in serious times and that the Lord is getting ready to come back. But there needs to be young and old who will sound a clear message calling hearts for repentance and for faithfulness. And I believe that's one reason our schools are established. Washita Hills is located in sort of like the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. And so it's just a setting where we uh, really have our minds on the Creator who made all these things. Washita Hills, uh, to me, has been an experience where I've been in an environment where I'm surrounded with people who are excited about Jesus. I learned a lot of things about how to be more well-rounded in how I approach life. So part of the reason in college I, I went here is I wanted to live outside of my comfort zone. And one of the things I had to do was uh, canvassing. And that helped me to learn how to speak about religious things in all kinds of different ways with all kinds of different people. Um, now I work at Watcher Hills Academy, um, so I'm more in the teacher role. And one of the things that we're trying to do for our students that come through is to help them have an education of both the mind, body, and spirit. So it's not just, you know, we're, we're teaching them academics, but they're actually learning practical skills that they can take in life. As students are learning to deal with problems and intricacies and to discern things that they need to be involved in, it carries over, those skills that they develop carries over into practical life and into their educational time. The young people are like swords in the hands of a mighty warrior, right? And uh, Jesus is the mighty warrior. But if the sword is not sharp, it does no good. You know, if you want to keep our young people, we need to send them out. But in order to send them out, we need to prepare them for what's out there. We want them to leave this school with the experience of the knowledge of how to use their profession to reach out to those souls that they come in contact with. A lot of young people has been having a conversion experience, but they have not learned, they have so many gaps. And we have the opportunity here to help them grow and solidify their beliefs. And not only that, but also to develop skills that can be used in a professional world. So in the college, we have four programs. We have a, a business degree, two-year and four-year program. And we also have education, both elementary education, secondary education. And then we have a music program that we just started, music majors. And also in the religion department, we have three programs. We have the uh, uh, associate degree, two-year degree for personal evangelism, where we train Bible workers and uh, canvassing leaders. And then in our four-year program, we're training either pastors or pastoral evangelists or missionaries. We have the biblical studies where you can have a minor in business and other things. And then our theology program that has uh, the biblical languages that you can uh, dig more deeply into God's Word. They have a work-study program here also, so we not only have educational classes where we um, learn things in the classroom, um, but we also have um, practical work where we work on the farm, we do woodworking, we do all types of different work. And so it's really nice that we can take what we learn in the classroom and put it to practical work here on campus, our work-study program, but also on the canvassing field with ministering to people. At the last days of Earth's history, we are told that we are going to have an army of youth that are rightly trained that are going to take the gospel to the, to the world in that generation. We're living on the cusp of that time, I believe. And messages to young people says, as a young person, what are your aspirations? Do you have high aspirations? And many times we can be like, oh, it's not good to have high aspirations, be like the president or being in Congress. But when you are able to have Christ as the focus of, I want to work in the government or I want to work in enterprises, the gospel is able to go in places where many times it's not available to go. Yes, we do need these schools around the world. It is a necessity and I believe that the Lord will smile on us greatly if we make this a priority.